in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document choose a solid color we are going to create another solid color Grab a soft time brush, select the mask. Roundness will be normal. Opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to black. We are going to increase the brush size and make a few clicks. Set the blend mode to multi black. Now we are going to create a new layer with a soft time brush, foreground is set to white, opacity is set to 100. We are going to click once. Set the blend mode to overlay with the last selected Ctrl J to make a copy and reduce the opacity of the copy. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial. Holding down the shift key, we are going to select all these layers and copy them. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. With this layer selected, we are going to press Ctrl A and align that vertically. Ctrl D to dig select. To so do the same for this layer, Ctrl A and we are going to align that. Ctrl D to dig select. With the move key, we are just going to adjust it and position it right here. With this layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. Ctrl J to make another copy. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to erect. With a soft arm brush, we are going to reduce opacity. Set foreground to white. And we are going to paint some back. We are going to put another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to it. With a soft arm brush, foreground is set to white, and we are just going to paint some shadows. Now we are going to repeat the same process for the others. 
So we select the exposure adjustment layers, Ctrl J to make a copy. We take it right above this layer. Delete all the masks. Once we delete all the masks, we are going to select the three layers and create a clipping mask. Now we are going to create a new mask. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft hand brush, for when they set to white, we are going to paint some back. Now we just have to repeat the same procedure for the other three. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft hand brush, fall when inside to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. With a soft hand brush, fold when inside of white, and we are going to paint some shadows. Now we are just going to paint some more shadows with the same technique. This layer selected, we are going to create a caps adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. Reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, we are going to create a solid color. Copy this as good. Now we are going to set the layer blend mode to linear dodge add. Right click on the layer and go for blending options. We are just going to move the slider a bit. We hold down the alt key on the keyboard and we are going to break the handles. We can hit our key now. With the mask selected, we are going to press Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, fold when it's set to white. And we are going to paint some back.
Now we need some contact shadow so we create a new layer just right here with a soft hand brush. We are going to right click and change roundness. Increase opacity, foreground inside to black. Then we are going to play coins. With the move tool, we are just going to adjust that. With the layer selected, we are going to press Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we are going to reduce the opacity of the copy. We are going to create a photo filter adjustment layer and reduce the opacity. Right here, we are going to create a new layer with a soft hand brush. We increase the opacity. Foreground is set to black and we are just going to paint some shadows. Once everything is in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert the layer into a smart object. Then we'll go for camera roll. So filter, camera roll, filter. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the camera roll settings until we like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time. Stay creative.